What's up everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex and in this video I want to do kind of a part two to the part one that was yesterday talking about Nev Campbell. Now the rumors have continued to move on. Now we're getting people that like a lot of people do trust. A lot of people, uh, I don't want to say should because it's totally up to you, but just definitely more credible people are coming out there. And again, some people are still saying, well, it's not from the same sources as the first person, yada, yada, yada. But there is generally, especially yesterday, okay, a big, big push that no nev actually is going to come back now the people that are saying that they're not saying whether it's the two scenes that was rumored on sunday which would be like kind of in the beginnings uh beginning ish of the movie and then maybe a cameo at the end they haven't really you know talked about that but they did say that they they struck a deal so what i want to kind of center this video on to not be too repetitive and also to, to talk about something a little bit uh different that i've said on twitter and and, and not everybody agrees with me, which is fine. It's actually kind of fun to get different perspectives on this. So let me, uh, I, I guess, pitch the idea to you, and you guys let me know in the comments where you stand on this. I think Paramount, if this is true, right, if they have her, I think they need to announce it immediately, as soon as possible, and not, not wait until the trailer, not wait until the movie releases. And we did touch upon this yesterday, but this I want to make this the central point of the video for the simple reason, again, of the bad press. Now, what I think some people need to remember or need to, I guess, realize, and this is not like a shade on people, it's something that I do like legitimately think people kind of forget about, which is okay, we are the we are the extreme extreme minority we are extremely loud we are extremely passionate i think scream maybe doesn't live or die but scream like really gets energized by us okay and i mean like the twitter community instagram youtube the the youtubers that cover it right we are a big part of it but we are also the extreme minority. If you don't think that you really just aren't paying attention much or you're, we live or you would live too much like in a bubble, okay? Because there's a there's a couple what? Maybe like 10,000 of us that are truly that watch YouTube videos, maybe more, right? Like a 3C films when he covers Scream, he gets maybe like 50, 60,000, but he's got a huge channel and the Scream videos do not do nearly as good as the other videos that he puts up. So, you have to and and, and you know, they're being served to his film audience which is almost like 500,000 people so again the general idea is there's like a handful there's like you know 10 20 30,000 people that live online and I say live not like we're wasting our lives although Twitter I do think slowly kills us every day but you know you know what I mean like uh, th it's a smaller group the people the, the the normal people the average Joes that go to see the movie once don't know anything about what's going on online see the trailer for scream six or whatever it's going to be called and then go to the movie to see that they are the majority they are i mean it's, it literally is the way that it is now here's the thing and here's where you could put a ripple into my argument my argument is from a uh an average joe perspective it looks really bad it's not a group of people trying to like hammer home a point that that is old or that's been hammered on for too long in terms of nev being shunned and nev not being in the movie right again i think there's kind of a disconnect with that where it's like anybody who still talks about it or anybody that has a problem with it is either a toxic fan or somebody who's beating the drum too hard it's like no those are legitimate people but again here's the thing I think in the diehard Scream community, there are less and less each day as time goes on because other things distract us that talk about the Nev Campbell situation. But from a outside perspective, I think a lot of people know about the Nev Campbell situation because that was announced by her. That was in Variety. That was in Deadline. That was in all of these major articles that people that don't watch YouTube, they may end up finding those. Okay. I guess my point is the people that heard about Nev Campbell being shunned and however you want to interpret you know whether it was two million dollars for four days right like any any combination like whatever actually happened doesn't matter the people that heard nev's statement and read it from somewhere or saw matthew lillard tweet out that like this is disgusting or saw vincent d'onofrio tweet out right anybody who saw any of these things i think that is a much wider range and a much bigger group than the diehard scream community all right and by the way in the scream diehard community there are actual people that are worried about this movie because of no nev campbell so it's not like those people don't exist in the diehard community it's just i think there's uh, again more people outside and so the people outside they don't care about the filming they don't know it's being filmed in montreal they don't care that there's halloween decorate again like to just be real it's exciting to us and it's important to us and that's that's also important in general 
but the general population could care less and doesn't know that there's Halloween decorations on set or that Jenna and Melissa were there and they were like filming. Nobody cares in that group, okay? Nobody. So my point is why Paramount needs to get out, okay? Get out in front of this is because I think a very big chunk of people heard the Nev Campbell stuff, all right? So if you have the fix to that problem, you need to fix it immediately. I don't think it's a good idea because, again, from a general group, I think there could be a lot of resentment, a lot of like, oh, I'm just going to peace out. Oh, they shun the star. Oh, this, oh, oh, that. I'm sure, by the way, there are people that are fine with it. I'm not saying every single person in that group, right? But I just think there's a lot more of them. And so, again, like, if you have the answer, so to me, right, it's the same thing. And I've said this before. It's the same thing if this entire thing, say, was like a staged event. That would be the dumbest thing humanly possible because people turned on Nev. Because in a way, or depending on how you look at it, she could come off as like a rich Hollywood celebrity that looks greedy, right? It's like, well, you're already a millionaire and you're asking for more money. Like, there are people that... Now, and I, I think that's actually fair to an okay extent. Not necessarily with Nev, because I do just think like she wasn't given... It's not like she makes, say, $4 million every movie. And she walked in, she says, I'm asking for 10 now. And if you give me 9 or less, I'm walking out, I'm not doing it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's a way of coming off super, like, Hollywood elite-like. And I just, I doubt that's how it actually happen that's that's my opinion i doubt that so but but again the reason why i think it's it, it, it can't be staged is because nev looks bad to some people so you've hurt your public uh you know i, I think she strengthened it for a lot of people but she also hurt it for some others paramount looks awful scream the franchise looks awful even though it really doesn't have anything to do right with the with the with anybody i guess working on the movie or like the property and like ghost face like now when you think of ghost face you think oh that's the movie franchise that shunned its lead star right it's got nothing to do with Ghostface. it's got nothing to do with the scream franchise but it does in a way you know what i mean so it can't be staged because like why would you do something that dumb to hurt everybody now taking that argument now apply it to what i just said if you have the answer to that okay now i get i get the argument that well you know we don't need to know everything about a movie before we go in they uh you know imagine the surprise it would be for the first trailer, or even if you could keep it secret, going into the movie, right? Where you don't know she's in it, and you go into the movie and she's in a couple scenes. Imagine that that surprise. I agree. It would be incredible. Here's the bad news for the people that think like that. And that's, a, uh, like, I respect that, but I think that's very naive because there's no way that's ever going to happen. No possible way that they're going to hide it. I don't trust them at all. I don't trust that we would not know that she's in the movie. So I guess what I'm saying is here, here's another way of looking at it. The alternative to not fixing it out in the public to fix this huge, like you, like you cut yourself really badly and you can let it bleed for the next like five, six months until the trailer comes out. You can make it bleed till March 31st. So you can do it for like nine months. You can let your arm bleed as long as you want to. Now you have a bandaid. You can fix it immediately. You can go out into the public and say, we got her back. You don't need to say she's in, oh, she's going to be in the 15 minute mark of the, of the movie, 15 minutes, 11 seconds through 16. 29 you don't have to say that but you can say we fixed it and guess what she's coming back and that's it we you're not going to get how many scenes we don't we're not going to say any of that stuff here's nev she's going to have a statement out right like that's all you need to do so you could do that publicly or you could let the bad press keep going for another six months until the trailer and then if she's not in the trailer because you're trying to hide her then the bad press will go on for another three four months in which case by the way as we get closer to the movie, the talk about Nev not being in it will amplify because more people, more normal people are going to be into it. And they're going to see the trailer and they're going to say, where's that one girl? You know, she led the franchise, Sydney, right? Where is her? Let's search her up. Oh, she hates them now. It was they found her statement. More and more people are going to do that. I think people hopefully know that more and more people will do that as we get closer. So again, you got to do something about it. I don't agree with the whole all press. Like, there's always that saying, all press is good press, right? Not necessarily. In my opinion, no. Like, if you get canceled or like a Johnny Depp thing, like if you get a, a if you get basically uh, somebody coming out there saying that you, you uh, did some stuff to them, very bad stuff, right? You will get canceled. You, that is not good press, right? 
So no, that's not true. In my opinion, there's definitely examples where there is some press. If somebody's talking about you or the press is talking about you, there's definitely some examples where that will definitely hurt you more than help you. I, 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 I think that's very obvious. So, and, and in my opinion, this is another example. Like, yeah, yeah, there are more people talking about this maybe than, than normal. Um, I don't think you're getting all that many new people because of like Nev being shunned by them. Like, I don't think you're going to get an influx of like a ton of new people because of that to see your movie. Again, people may talk about it, but that doesn't mean they'll see it. You've also turned off people in your own community. So even if you did get new people, you've lost some diehards. Not all, not even the majority, but you've lost some diehards and you're replacing them. Maybe, probably not though. You know what I mean? So that's my, it's a strong opinion for sure. And I'm definitely up for differences of opinions. I really am. Um, and I've seen them, you know, on Twitter. It's just, I, I, again, it's such a bad thing for them. Bad all around for everybody. So if you have the fix, you fix it immediately. If you want to hide it, well, number one, it's well, number one, it's not going to work because you're going to still have this bad press for as long as it goes until you show her or announce her. OK, you continue to have that bad press and most likely you are not going to keep it a secret. So if the plan is to keep it till March 31st, that will never happen. It will leak beforehand. And, the, and, and so that ruins any the narrative of, well, it would be such a big surprise. It would be such a big surprise for like the two percent that doesn't know at that point because i'm sure it'd be the biggest story out there the two percent that didn't know that she's back in the movie that's i i just don't think you can keep it hidden and they've they have no track record to prove that they're good at hiding anything okay i'm not saying the trailer necessarily would spoil it but the trailer of five spoiled the entire movie i'm very strong on that there's really no argument showing amber showing richie heavily implying dewey showing judy in the tv spot being murdered i mean like what else they showed the whole film so i predicted the whole film based off the trailers and the tv spots and i have videos on it so i don't have any faith that they can hide it so then you lose that big surprise and you still have the negativity until that big surprise is ruined so, so ultimately please just announce it now and again you don't have to say which minute mark she's in the movie you just say hey we fixed it oh and by the way we're sorry we're sorry this happened it's our fault we we love nev she's the star of the franchise she's getting what she wanted and that's it here's our statement here's nev's statement she's in the movie and that's all we're saying for now see you in, in march I, I think that would be fine I don't think that would really ruin anything. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on. If you did like it or you super liked it and you want to follow or support me anywhere else, all my social media is in the description below, along with our Patreon and YouTube memberships. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you all on the next video.